This has got to be my worst recipe I've ever made. <laughs> that was the best recipe. <laughs> Hey everyone, Dave here, and we're back, and once again, we're gonna let ChatGPT and artificial intelligence choose what we're gonna eat tonight, and we're gonna base it on what's trending right now, which is Five Nights at Freddy's Ruin DLC, but there's also a Five Nights at Freddy's movie coming out soon, so FNAF is what everyone's talking about. It's kind of a, a spooky trailer behind me. Uh, ChatGPT might come up with a creepy recipe. We're gonna see. We're gonna pull up ChatGPT right now and let them decide what we're gonna cook. Create a recipe based on Five Nights at Freddy's. Is that how do you spell Freddy's? How do they spell Freddy's in Five Nights at Freddy's? It's Y S. Okay. All right. Let's see what it comes up with. Create a recipe based on Five Nights at Freddy's. Freddy's Five Nights Delight. Okay. This sounds interesting. I don't even know what that's gonna be. Welcome to Freddy's Five Nights Delight, a deliciously spooky treat inspired by this popular game, Five Nights at Freddy's. This recipe combines the flavors of rich chocolate, sweet vanilla, oh, it sounds like a dessert, a hint of suspense, oh my lanta, to create a dessert that will thrill your taste buds. Get ready to enjoy this creepy, delightful culinary experience. We're doing a whole experience this time. That's exciting. Okay, so it looks like we got a chocolate cake in there. We've got a vanilla cream filling. Ooh. We've got spooky garnish, candy eyeballs. Where am I gonna get those? Maybe Walmart has candy eyeballs. I'm gonna have to look into this. It's gonna require work. Anyways, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make a Five Nights at Freddy's recipe based on what ChatGPT is telling us. The thing that's weird about these, it doesn't give me pictures. So we're just gonna get creative. Make sure you keep watching so we can see how this spooky recipe turns out. Hey everyone. Okay, so we're in the kitchen and I've determined that we need to read through the recipe before we go commit and go to Walmart and buy all the ingredients because there's definitely some issues with what we're cooking today, but it should be an entertaining one if nothing else. First of all, okay, so we're making the Five Nights at Freddy's Dessert Delight or whatever it's called. What is it called? Hold on. Freddy's Five Nights Delight. And I thought, okay, this is gonna be some sort of an interesting dessert that we're making or something along those lines. But after much investigation, I've determined it's just another cake. And the last cake, the Barbie cake, didn't go horribly, but it didn't go great either. So next time, we're gonna check and make sure it's not a cake and take a break from cakes. We're gonna try this one today and see how it comes out. The big dilemma I have when making a cake is uh, the decoration part. It's certainly not one of my specialties. Yeah, either way, we're gonna try it because I already bought all the ingredients, so I might as well try it, but I'm very concerned. <laughs> about the decorating aspect of this recipe because I read through the whole recipe and I don't really understand how we're gonna make this look like a Five Nights at Freddy's recipe, especially with the size of the eyeballs I got. I think I was a little confused. We're gonna improvise and we're gonna try to make something amazing because artificial intelligence has told us to make this and we must obey. <laughs> so first we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Easiest step of the recipe right there. Up next it says that we need to grease and line two eight inch round cake pans with parchment paper. I forgot to buy parchment paper. I think this is it. Although this could be wax paper. I never know the difference. So this, but this thing happened where like, where like I peeled it wrong and it's got like all these different layers and that just seems awful. I think I'd rather buy new parchment paper than use that. So what we want to do is we want to get a large mixing bowl. Which I think this uh, shiny silver one would do the trick. In it we want to combine our flour, our sugar, some cocoa powder, baking powder, soda, and probably salt, yes. Okay, so I got my one and a half cup, and I'm gonna do one and a half cup of flour and one and a half cup of sugar, I believe, into this bowl. So there's one cup, and then we're gonna do a half cup. Yeah, I mean, we've got the Five Nights at Freddy's movie coming out. We've got the Five Nights at Freddy game expansion coming out. We got a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's going on. Cup and a half of granulated sugar. Oh, that's a bad sign. <laughs> My sugar thing is empty, so uh, let's see if I have another one. Okay, so I'm back, and through magic editing powers, I have sugar in this now. The magic editing powers would be turning off the camera and turning them back on, and going to the store and buying sugar, and like I said, magic, we now have sugar. So we need a cup and a half of that to go into the flour. There's one cup, and let's add a half more, like so. All right, now it says, I think I just did that all wrong. No, it's what it says, that's weird. That's, normally you do the sugar, eggs, vanilla when you're making a cake. You don't do the flour and sugar together. That's actually pretty bizarre to me, but that's what artificial intelligence is telling us to do, so that's what we're gonna do. 
Cocoa powder, baking powder. Okay, so how much cocoa powder? Half a cup of cocoa powder. I got the Hershey's branded cocoa powder. I also had to do a shirt change because my other shirt got messy. I think that'll be three shirts in one video. Pretty good, pretty impressive. All right, so half a cup of cocoa powder goes in there. And it says we need one teaspoon of baking powder, like so, and then a half a teaspoon of baking soda which is slightly different in some way. I'm not really sure how, probably scientifically or something like that. Half a teaspoon of that and salt, half a teaspoon of salt. Boom. We're gonna whisk that together until combined. And then I'm gonna clean some of this up because I generally wait till the end to clean up, but we're going a little different route. So we're just gonna mix that all together. I'm just using a fork. Now my version of clean is probably not the same as yours, but I at least cleaned up some of the stuff around me. I still left that out and that out. That's because I feel like I'm gonna need them again. So I didn't wanna get them too far gone. Now the Barbie cake we made was vanilla. This looks like it's gonna be chocolate based on the cocoa powder. <sighs> I'm really, uh, you just wait. Wait till you see what it tells me to do to decorate this stupid thing. <laughs> I don't know, artificial intelligence. We've been using artificial intelligence 3.5. Maybe I need to pay to get artificial intelligence 4.0 and maybe that would make these recipes a little better because I'm pretty unimpressed with uh, some of the ones we've done. Although they've tasted good, they're just not like wowing me yet. It says to add the vegetable oil, eggs. Oh, vegetable oil, okay, you get that. Oh boy, I think I might not have enough vegetable oil either. Hold on, let me check over here. We're good, crisis averted. All right, so it says to add the vegetable oil and two eggs. So maybe we'll crack the eggs into a bowl. A lot of people were upset that I cracked the eggs straight into the mix last time. All right, let's set this aside, crack our eggs, make sure we don't get anything too shellerific in it. All right, so we're gonna take our two eggs, we're gonna put them in here. I believe that's what it says, right? I did it, so I guess that's what it means. Okay, so we got that, and then we want the veggie oil, which is a half a cup of that. I'm just gonna use the same one I used before, slacker, okay? And there's one more ingredient it says to add now. Oh, we've got boiling water as an ingredient. That's weird. Vanilla extract. Yes, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we're gonna, oh boy, I almost went over there. We did pretty good actually. Okay, and then we're gonna just mix that up. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, I already did that song last time. <laughs> it's just always in my head. So, I mean, that, that seems like kind of a cakey ingredient and recipe. My only thing is I've always had to do the baking soda, flour, salt thing before I added the sugar and butter and, although there's no butter in this actually. That's different too. Um, before I do that, because then it helps to make sure it rises properly. So I don't know, the texture seems weird here. Look at that, that is odd. <laughs> it's like little, little poo balls. Mmm, poo balls, perfect thing to talk about while making food. Nothing increases the appetite like poo ball discussions. Or like little craters. <sighs> weird, very weird consistency. What did I do wrong? I feel like I did something wrong. It says mixed well, <laughs> it says mixed well till the batter is smooth. What? One and a half cup of flour, one and a half cup of sugar, half cup of cocoa powder. Like what is gonna make this smooth? Did it forget? Large mixing bowl, whisk together flour, granular shade, granular shade. Gradually add buttermilk while stirring continuously. A cup of buttermilk, okay, let's do that. So this, I mean, it doesn't look like what I think it should look like yet, but this cup of buttermilk could be the saver of the recipe here. Oh, that's way too much, dang it. Hold on, a little less. There we go, good enough. All right, so let's add a little of that and we're gonna mix it up. It also never told me to use my like stand mixer and I feel like I should have. I feel like that would have made this a lot easier instead of using this tiny fork. All right, it's getting a little bit easier to stir. Let's add a little more. I don't know guys, what do you think about this? Kind of weird, does it look spooky? Does it remind you of Five Nights at Freddy's yet? Kinda, kinda. I can kinda see it. Gosh, that is so thick. It's a thick daddy. <laughs> My wife laughed at that one. <laughs> There's this person I watch online and she sells stuff. She always sells like toys and stuff and she calls her toys daddies. <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> all right, let's add a little more. I'm just gonna add it all actually. That's one cup of butt, butt hair milk into our poop mixture. This, this episode has gone really off the rails. <laughs> Mix it up. Oh my gosh, it's still so thick though. I know there's another ingredient, I think boiling water, that also will probably help this become less thick. E e why am I doing this by hand? We have the technology to not do it by hand. Okay, so my wife pointed out that artificial intelligence is just laughing at me because it likes making me work really hard. Do it myself instead of, you know, forcing the mixer, the robot in the house to do it. Kind of putting all the work on me. Hmm. Conspiracy theory, yes, but I like it. I think she's on the right track. 
starting to look a little bit more like a cakey type batter. Oh, that's not helping. I'm gonna save this whisk. I think I'm gonna need it in a minute. Pour in boiling water and mix until batter. So I don't have boiling water. I guess I should make that. All right, so I put some water on to boil. I'm actually gonna prep the cake pans now, which you told me to do at the beginning. All right, so we got our two cake pans, like they're matching guys. I, you know, I might've had to spend $8 to make that happen. I felt like I wouldn't regret owning two nice, you know, matching cake pans. All right, so we're gonna grease it. Should we skip the parchment paper step? Probably not. But I just don't know. I was just at the store buying sugar. I should have bought parchment paper. That was dumb of me. I'm the kind of guy who solves the problem right in front of him, not the 10 other problems that exist. And mankind became stupider at a frightening rate. All right, so our water's almost boiling. We've got these pans ready. <sighs> parchment paper, I don't know. Do I have enough? How would I even do that? Put parchment paper in a circle pan. I'm not gonna do it. It's too scientific for me. not scientific at all. All right, so the next step is gonna be to pour the boiling water in, and how much boiling water? Half a cup of boiling water. And then we'll divide it evenly into these two pans. That's simple enough. Simple as a pimple on an elephant's butt. Something I used to say when I was a kid, I don't know why. <laughs> Did you used to say that? I asked my wife, she said she didn't say that. So that wasn't like a common thing. That was just me and a weird thing I said. I don't know why I said that. I don't know, you tell me in the comments. Did you say that? Was that like a common thing? Or is that just a weird thing Dave made up? I got some buttermilk on the table here. Waiting for the water to boil. I guess you could have started the water earlier. It says it's gonna look very glossy. This is a totally different cake recipe than I've ever made. So this might not even be a cake. I don't know, it might be something unique. It's a cake. <laughs> It's in a cake pan, it's a cake. But it's gonna taste way different than the Barbie one, which if you haven't watched that one yet, check that one out too. We're almost boiling, I'm impatient. I'm waiting for the water to boil. Five hours later. Okay, water is boiling, so we're gonna get a quarter, a half a cup of it in this little silver thing. But I'm doubting myself, how much does it need to boil? It's boiling a little bit. Should I let it boil more? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, it's boiling a lot now. All right, so let's play with boiling water. We're gonna do half a cup in this thing and then dump it in. Oh, uh, I went a little too hard. Right there, I'm gonna stop there. And mix, 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 like so. Uh, what do I do with the pan that's in my hand? I need to put it down, but I don't wanna burn my countertop. Would it burn my countertop? You guys tell me, I'm just gonna do this. Oh no, that's a bad idea. It's gonna come over the edges. Hold on, I just put it down. What's, what's two seconds gonna hurt? It's probably not gonna hurt. All right, mix it up really fast. Although does it say to do it fast or am I just doing that on my own? Do you think the hot water could cook it a little by accident? I feel like that could happen. To say it says, pour in boiling water and mix until the batter becomes smooth and glossy. Divide the cake batter evenly between the two prepared baked pan, or cake pans, not baked pans. This is it. So up next, we're gonna be cooking it. Is that smooth, smooth and glossy yet? Kind of feels like it. I'm saying yes, it's smooth and glossy. So take our cake pans and pour and pour. Not gonna be very thick cakes, even though it was earlier a thick daddy as we called it. <laughs> I wonder how even it needs to be. Probably not perfect. Get the little last bits in here, last bits in here. And there you go, two little chocolate cakes. Now remember we preheated our oven to 350. We're now gonna put these in said preheated oven like so. Then we're gonna set our timer for 25 to 30 minutes. We'll go 27. And then we're gonna start working on the filling. It's weird though, because the filling says I need to start with a chilled, so it says a chilled mixing bowl. How do you chill a mixing bowl? You put it in the freezer? I'm gonna put my mixing bowl in the freezer for a couple minutes. Never done this before. All right, I'm gonna clean up and get everything I need to make the filling and we'll be back in a second. All right, I'm back in the kitchen and I've been like setting up my mixer. I got, this is for the filling, right? Heavy cream or whipping cream, uh, powdered sugar and vanilla, simple enough. The cake should be done, let's go check them. Yeah, they look done. Should we insert a fork? Yeah, came out clean, so that's done. <laughs> the smell of cake, it's so amazing. I mean, if you can't find joy in the smell of cake, you know, what are you doing? I basically froze in my, <laughs> froze in my bowl. It's ice cold, hurting my fingers. It's been in there this whole time. Let me put it on the mixer. So basically the entire time I was cooking the cake, this was cooling. I got the little mixer thingy. And now we're gonna actually make this uh, cream filling or whatever. Okay. Vanilla cream in a chilled mixing bowl, which we have. Beat the heavy cream, powdered sugar, and vanilla extract. One cup of heavy cream. That's a guy here. I use this for another recipe. I think I still have enough. <laughs> Someone commented on the fact that I have like 7,000 different mixing or measuring spoon thingies, measuring cup. It's because I lose stuff so often. All right, so we're gonna pour the one cup in there. And I go to a lot of garage sales. And so when I'm there, I just always buy them because I never can have too many measuring tools. 
in my opinion. Quarter cup of powdered sugar, that's all, really? I'm surprised. I guess we're turning this into like straight whipped cream then. Quarter cup powdered sugar. Add that to it, get in there. And finally, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Doesn't feel scary yet, guys, but wait till I have to decorate it. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, measuring it over the bowl because, you know, I'm, I'm all for chaos here. Let's lift this up, okay, and now stir it. That's it, huh? So this must be about to like expand quite a bit. Mix it up here. Okay, so stiff peaks. I would call that stiff peaks. I mean, it's almost too stiff. I'm turning it into butter, I think, guys. I think I might've gone too long. This is not much of the frosting stuff. Let me uh, show you. We basically made whipped cream. Interesting, so it's like a whipped cream cake. I will say I might have gone a little too long. It, it was about three minutes that I went, but I did have it at level 10. Maybe I should have gone a little shorter, but it's okay. I'd rather have it be a little bit thicker um, than not thick enough because then it'll be all watery and make a big mess. So this is gonna be our frosting. It doesn't seem like much, but whatever, it's fine. Like always, we do what the AI tells us to, and this is what it told us to make, and this is our topping. This is our cream filling, basically. I might put a little, I don't know, cover on this and put it in the fridge while we wait for the cakes to cool a little more. The recipe says to let the cakes cool for 10 minutes and then take them out of the pans. And we're probably about six minutes since I took them out. Let's wait a few minutes. We're gonna take them out and see how they look and I'll set them. It says to cool them on a wire rack. I don't think I have. Let me see if I have that. I found one. I think I'll probably need two since it's two cakes, but I'll just cool one on a wire rack and one on a cookie sheet. It's fine. It'll be fine, guys, unless it's not, and then it'll be not fine. All right, we're gonna pull that off in just a second. It's been like 10 minutes, so we're gonna try to see if this comes out. Actually, it's looking pretty promising. Uh-oh, except for right there. Eh. Oh, perfect. Look at that. I was pretty nervous that it wouldn't come out easy, but that wasn't bad at all. Now let's just, uh, I'm gonna try not to break it. Move it to the cooling rack here. Ooh, it's a little sticky. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, it's not perfect, but it's okay. Let's pull out the other one. Oh, dang it. Uh, okay, let's just do this. All right, two for two. I'm gonna get, let these cool for like 10 more minutes. Well, we wanna let them completely cool. I think it'll be pretty fast. Uh, maybe 20, 10, 15, I don't know, we'll see. Okay guys, so we're gonna try to start off by transferring to the fanciest cake dish I have, which is a piece of Tupperware. And I noticed this was kind of sticking, so I'm gonna use a spatula to move it. Get this out of here. See, look at this, it's like mayhem. It's very soft. Basically that whole layer at the top basically came off with the spatula on the other one, but that's okay. It says to cut it in half, which we're gonna do. I don't know what kind of cutter I should use, just this. It's not actually very thick, so cutting it in half seems like it might be a challenge. Let me move this out of the way. All right, so we're just cutting this in half, like it says to do, like so. And then we're gonna take our little cream filling Right, let's flip this like so. I don't know, I'm gonna set this on side. That actually came off pretty nice, right? Uh, hold on, I need to put it on something separate. Put it on this pink plate I got for the Barbie video. All right, so we're just gonna put this cream on top like so. I really don't know if I have enough cream fillings, but it goes in the middle like that. And then we put the next layer on and we do some more cream filling. This is what ChatGPT told us to do, guys. I don't know if it's gonna be good. One thing I know for sure is they did not give us enough filling. We're gonna have to make more. I don't have enough heavy cream to make more, which means I'm going back to the store in a minute. We then also need to cut this one in half. Uh, let's see if I can do it as well as I did last time. That was kind of a fluke that it went so well. So here's this one. Look at that. Pop that on top of the other piece. Basically making layers. It kind of looks like a big Oreo, which I'm not complaining. I don't think anyone's gonna complain about a giant Oreo snack. And this is, like I said, where we're gonna run out of the filling because it just, just did not give us enough in that recipe, which means, like I said, um, we're gonna make more of the filling. Now, I'm not gonna do that on camera. I'll just go to the store, buy all the ingredients and make more. As you know, it's heavy cream and powdered sugar and vanilla. So now we'll put the top on. Uh oh, try not to break it. I don't, it's like, why is it? <laughs> why is it floppy like it is? I don't know why it's floppy, but it is floppy. Okay, I cleaned my little frosting thing. I'm gonna put it back in the freezer because remember it's supposed to be chilled. I'm actually also gonna pop this into the fridge because I don't know, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. I don't like how it kind of, <laughs> 
Guys, I'm not a professional cook. We're just doing what we can with what ChatGPT tells us. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge while I go to the store to get more ingredients to continue this project. Okay guys, we're back. I made a bunch more of this like whipped topping, the cream sauce as it were. I did two more, not just one, but two more servings of it. So before we had done one cup, I did two whole more cups. And uh, I stopped it earlier this time because I felt like I had overdone it and it said to just stop when you get like stiff peaks. And I felt like we had stiff peaks already. So it's like kind of creamier than it was. Is that bad? Should I just pour it? No, you pour it. Callie says go for it. My nine year old. Yeah, just do it all. I think that looks bad. <laughs> all right, now I think I didn't get it firm enough. Oh boy. Just cover the whole thing. It's <laughs> like terrible. Cover the whole thing. <laughs> cover the whole thing, says Callie. Why not, guys? This is not a cooking channel where we make an amazing thing. It's where we make something anyone could make. Yeah. It would also be easier to draw <laughs> the thing on it, Dad. Everywhere. Hey, you know what? It kind of looks like Freddy already. Okay, yeah, so this is easier. gotta be my worst recipe I've ever made. That was the best recipe. <laughs> Callie is gonna help me decorate it. I mean, and the frosting. <laughs> I think I needed to go longer on that uh, frosting, Callie. It's cool, right? I mean, it's supposed to be horrifying, and to any professional baker, they're probably terrified right now with what we've done. So yeah, I think. Yeah, terrifying cake. Yeah. Okay, so we're back with the slightly less mess, but still a huge mess. It definitely needed to uh, stir a little longer, I think. But I will say it says to refrigerate the cake for 30 minutes before serving. So maybe it expected it to be that liquidy, but I don't think so, guys. Like I said, this is, uh, if there's one thing that can be said for the channel, you can do what I'm doing. <laughs> Not necessarily that you'd want to, but you could if you wanted to and probably better because here's what it says next. So this is what it says. It says for the spooky garnish, create Freddy's face on top of the cake using chocolate shavings or sprinkles. It wants me to somehow create Freddy's face with sprinkles. I don't see how that's possible. Candy eyeballs for eyes and a touch of red food gel coloring for the menacing grin. Now, obviously the eyes are way too small that I bought, which means I didn't think this through. Now I'm not good at this at all as far as like, uh, art or de decorating or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Google image search Freddy and hope to goodness that I can actually draw him. So I pulled some pictures up on my computer here. And we're gonna try to draw him and then my daughter Callie is gonna come in and help us finish this bad boy off. Ay ay ay, wish me luck guys. Looks like he's got a little hat and I can only find black food coloring. So we're gonna use black. Oh, this is gonna look so horrible, guys. Prepare yourselves. You know, I tried to do this with a pencil and it came out okay, but uh, I don't know if it's gonna come out as good with food coloring. Gonna start a little bit at a time. We're gonna do a hat, like so. Here's a hat. It's got a, oh, uh, that's not quite right. Oh boy. All right, there's his hat. Eh, it's all right. <laughs> like I said, anyone can do this because it's not actually good. All right, let's see. We're gonna do like kind of a cloud looking thing here, like that up to here, same thing over here. See, it's really hard to have control with a, a frosting thing. Now this looks terrible so far. Uh, then we're just gonna do like his mouth is gonna be like a big oblong thing. Look how liquidy. <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna bring in my daughter and she's gonna maybe help make it look better, but let me destroy it first. He's kinda, he's kinda got some little dimples or like some whiskers here. And then he's got kind of a menacing mouth down here. It says I should use red food dye for his teeth, which seems confusing to me. Why would his teeth be red? Some big eyes like this. Oh boy, it didn't really come out right. And then he's got like some menacing eyebrows. Oh boy. Um, we use some red food coloring for his mouth, it said. I don't know. We'll just do like a little line here. And he's supposed to have scary teeth. 
So we're just gonna do this. Does he have bottom teeth? Yeah, he's got some teeth on the bottom. I don't actually know if he has top teeth. Oh, dang it. All right, Callie, come take a look at what I've done here. My daughter. Does uh, it look anything like Freddy? It's <laughs> scary. <laughs> It's supposed to be scary. So there you go. Why are his ears so low? Here, you need to draw his bow, bro. Oh, he's got a, a bow. Well, let's make his ears a little bigger. I, I think know how to draw his um, bow tie. Can, can his bow tie be the red? Yes, that's what color it is. All right, Did well, hold on it? one sec, because I feel like he's got a big mouth. He needs like a jaw. There you go. Okay. See, look, it shows you on the picture. It says All right, it fine, you. draw a bow tie. I've got these little eyeballs too. And put them inside. I'm lucky, guys. It might not look the best. I'm okay. just terrible on this stuff. All right, so Callie's doing the bow tie. I've got, I'm gonna do a little eyeball. Why not? Okay. Why not? That's what him makes uh. more scary. <laughs> <laughs> he looks more terrifying. All right, yeah, his bow tie is looking actually pretty good. He has oh, and then I got these, okay, so I got this idea. I got these light colored sprinkles. He has an inset colored inside the bow. But it might be I wouldn't go too hard on that. Well, don't worry. Just and these will be his nose, because his nose is like a light brown. And then we'll do the dark sprinkles on his face, Callie. Trying you want to do the dark sprinkles on his face? Yeah, after I... That's, that's a lot of food coloring. I don't know if we're supposed to eat this much food coloring. Don't worry, we just won't really eat this part on here. It's, it's edible. It's edible gel. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and we can just spread it. We can Goodness. spread it. Okay, so take some like little chocolate sprinkles. Can we just spread it? No, you gotta, the they're for, no, that oh, frosting. man, I wouldn't because it's gonna drip into this horrible frosting I made. I uh, know you gotta put it in your hands. Oh, okay, Elle. Well, see Callie, anyone can cook this because it's terrible. Yeah. Oh, that one's creepy. You could have done that one, I was just like. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna be really careful with the sprinkles. Just do his like face and try not to get it on his but, eyebrows. But his hat is like a light color kind of and dark color. His hat is black over here. I could just fill it in. Yeah, fill it in. Hell, you're doing a lot of frosting too. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think that part's gonna taste that good, but maybe, I don't know what this tastes like. And his head, I don't know, the sprinkles are kind of making him look less like Freddy, not <laughs> more like Freddy. I got him eyes. No, his eyes black, guys. Uh, he just looks more creepy a little. We accidentally got sprinkles on his eyeballs. <laughs> okay, well. And then he has a little brown dot on it. It's gonna taste interesting because it's like got whipped cream on it instead of frosting because you know, we'll whatever. There We're gonna we call go. this done, Callie. Here, go. let's do one more thing. Let's put Whee! an extra eyeball here and an extra <laughs> eyeball here. Perfect. Beautiful, guys. <laughs> okay, so we've done it. We have created Freddy's Five Nights Delight. Check uh, it out. Scariness. It, uh, yeah, I here, Callie, look, we'll, we'll hold it like this and we'll show it off, look at the camera. This will be our thumbnail. Be oh, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall. Okay, okay. You, you, oh, there's frosting fall. everywhere. All right, so now we gotta eat it. Yeah. You want to get Anna, see if she wants to eat some of this nightmare fuel? This is going to be so messy. Did it kind of look like Freddy? Not really. It didn't really look like him. There, you see? <laughs> we tried. It was a fun project. All right, me and Callie, we're trying. Callie's already eating it over there. Hmm. It's okay if it... It doesn't really taste like cake. <laughs> And it tastes like a glob of mess. And also, I don't, I'm not a big, big, big fan of chocolate. She's not a big, big fan of chocolate? I'm like, a, okay. Like, right. I like vanilla better. Well, this is supposed to be Freddy's Five Night Delight. Okay. Needs more sprinkles. Mine needs cream, because mm -hmm. I like baby. It's like nice and dense. It's like a flourless cake, except there's plenty of flour in it. And I need more sprinkles. Anna says it's better than the Barbie cake. The barbie cake was better. Hmm? It was a lot better. because Callie vanilla. prefers the Barbie cake. It was vanilla. They're just, you're putting food dye on it? Yes. <laughs> That's not food. <laughs> All right, so I would call this a fail, but uh, it was fun to make. Did we have fun, Callie? So I guess there's that. Oh, and it was, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's. I love She's just eating eyeballs over here. Uh, Flavor-wise, tastes fine. Ka Anna says it's better than the barbie cake tasting. Callie says it's worse than the barbie cake. So, you know, just make it. It's fun. See you next time. Make sure you subscribe. Bye-bye.